that's the update i don't know what i'm doing and you're gonna watch me not know what i'm doing <laughs> all right hey good morning today is oh why i never know the damn date good morning good morning or good afternoon i hope you're having a great week we're back with another vlog my name is t if you're new here um thank you for following me from instagram tiktok or just coming back to the channel i'm on my way to go walk in the park i just i need to get out the house i have not been leaving the house like that um even after i go to work i don't go anywhere and i feel like a little bit of depression setting in like a depressive mood coming on um and i went through one last weekend and i was trying my best to get through it and i was i was a mess <laughs> i'm gonna be very honest i'm i'm coming on here more transparent about things that's been going on with me and if i'm rambling and talking and fast and stuff like i gotta get it out so i don't know um but yeah so i'm on my way to the park i'm gonna go walk around the park to just switch it up because i'm tired of going just to the gym like i'm still gonna lift weights today yes but i need a little mix you know i'm trying to mix in like i was doing last year i'm trying to mix in yoga um pilates walking i want to get my class pass app back up so i can start taking classes again and stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna do so yeah i'm just gonna go walk in the park for a little bit walk around i'm probably gonna make a separate tiktok or youtube video while i'm walking um and then i'll come back on here another thing i wanted to say before i go walk is post that damn content if you are interested in content creating and you sit and you watch youtube all day long like me and you follow the girls you know what they're doing and not just about influence but you really love people creating just go and start making your own content don't be shy post whatever you want to post post your your lunch at work post you walking your dog post you doing your hair and you know just talk to the camera you'll get comfortable and even if not just you don't even have to make content where you speak you could just show us your surroundings you know start researching ways to edit content on youtube and on tiktok start looking up ways there's plenty of people out there that create content that show us how to edit content um and yeah i have some vlogs and different videos from trips and things that i've taken this year and we're in july i still have not posted my content from my cancun trip back in june um so that cancun vlog is actually coming up soon actually and yeah this is just my salutation to people who want to start doing content you want to start doing whatever it is just start just start just start and if you started it and you stopped doing it for a little while get back into it just a little bit even if it's just for like 30 minutes to an hour just do it real quick for what you need to do it for and that's it and it'll be okay you know like i'm, I'm telling you all this in confidence that I do not know what I'm doing. I'm literally just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. I don't know what I'm doing. So um, none of us do. Our parents don't either. They're still trying to figure it out. Um, this life shit really crazy, but I really want you guys to just like, if that's what I'm here to say, and that's what I'm here to do is to inspire other people to just be themselves and not me being ashy um i'm so ashy i'm inspiring you to pursue dental hygiene to pursue uh, content creating to pursue being a travel influencer or whatever it is that you want to do that or doing makeup and hair and clothing hauls and all the things that i've been showing you guys i'm interested in then go ahead and do it go and do it and it's going to be a little difficult you're going to hit some bumps in the road but it's going to be all right girl or boy, it's gonna be okay. Like, I don't know what's going on. They honking. Traffic is just sitting up. Like, and my 
mind you, I'm only like two minutes from the park, so it's like, what? What is the hold up? What is this traffic for? Like, discuss this dental hygiene quitting dental hygiene situation I've been feeling like this for a long time but I don't really have a backup plan so I'm still going to be working as a dental hygienist I just know that I've hit my point of burnout that um, I just I can't do this anymore and I had like Ooh, not a stick bug. Ooh. Um, I hit a point of like, like emotional um, anguish, you know, um, and I eventually felt myself like, like literally like shutting down, you know, like I'm, I'm shutting down. I don't, I don't feel fulfilled by this career anymore at all. And it happened back in January. I felt like a, how do I say it? I felt like a moment of like, I don't know how to explain it, like grief. Like, you know, when somebody or something you love or someone or a pet or something like passes away, I felt like that. And I was like, wow, like this is a very heavy energy, like, I feel like unbalanced right now. Like maybe I just need to like take a day off and just relax. So I did that. And then I went back to work and I felt it again. And um, I was at work in the bathroom and I just felt like my chest was getting tight. Like I think I was having like almost a mini panic attack. And I was like, yo, like what is wrong with me? And it's like I just wanted to leave. I, I wanted to leave so bad. Um, I ended up not leaving work but that day. But I, I just didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. I don't know how to explain it. And I feel like it does stem from hygiene not being my passion. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm doing this for what? You know, I feel like it's all run its course. I feel like I've taught people as much as I can. I've done what I could here and I have to also remember that I was never really into it at all I was into the fact that it had one math class I did not have to do a lot of school and I was going to end up graduating in like two three years making a decent living like I wasn't thinking about the future I expected that the future would be ready for me when I get there you know you young you thinking like all right like this is decent let me do my one tool and start my job and party and travel and save money and I'll figure it all out. And I didn't know that this day would come where I would be like, damn, like, figure it out. I need to figure it out. And I still like, I still don't know what I want to do. I thought I would have known by now. Um, but then again, I do put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, I'm 30. This is not to tell anyone who is younger that this is not a, a feeling you won't have, but give yourself grace, you know? That's one thing I could really say is give yourself grace. Things happen for a reason. Um, if you pray to whoever they're in control, just let it go, like, and that's what I feel like I had to do. So what am I gonna do next? I don't know. Am I gonna be a hygienist forever? No, I know that for sure. 
I know that's not my ministry anymore. I know I never really felt like that to begin with in the first place. Um, it just got so dark. Um, I know I've never really felt that way in the first place. And I don't know. People gonna ask me, what are you gonna do? I don't know. These keep falling down because I'm sweating. <laughs> Can you relate to anything I'm saying? Like, I'm in school to get my bachelor's in science and business. I mean, not in science. I'm in school currently enrolling to get a bachelor's in business management. Do I want to run a business? Yes. That's all I know. That's the only information I can give you is that I want to own my own business. So I'm going to go to school and get a bachelor's in business. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life. I feel like every time a black woman is bored or she feels like unfulfilled, she goes back to school to get another degree. And that's how we end up as black women with two master's degrees and a PhD in some foolishness because we don't know what we want to do with ourselves we just have this unfortunate or at least i do this unfortunate idea of having to be so accomplished <laughs> and having all these ideas made up and shit and it's just like you don't need to always know what is next and what you're doing and taking action like what what just sit sit be still and that's what I think I'm doing right now. I'm sitting. I'm being still. I'm not really moving around like that. I'm, you know, just, I'm just here. And it's hard to do that, especially as someone who is a very busy person. I'm constantly on the move. I'm constantly at something for somebody, at a person's family reunion thing. With, like, I'm always, like, hanging out and having fun with people, but... I don't know how to just sit and not do and not be. So I'm in school. I don't know if that's what I really want to do at all. Will I do it? Probably not. So yeah, that's the update. I don't know what I'm doing and you're going to watch me not know what I'm doing. <laughs> Basically. So I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm not stressing myself out to do anything. Um, I just know that I can't do dental hygiene anymore. And I don't have any other reason why, but I just know that it might sound crazy right now. If you're into this kind of stuff, then you understand. But if not, take it, whatever. I, I feel like God told me to let it go. And all of those emotional and many panic attacks and many depressive moments I've been having all stems from the fact that I'm not happy in what I'm doing. And don't get me wrong, I do a great job while I'm at the dental offices helping people out. I help the teams out. I'm doing great with that. But me, myself, feeling fulfilled every day, I don't feel fulfilled doing that. I feel more fulfilled picking up the camera and just talking and interacting with you guys on social media and you know trying on my makeup products doing my hair going on a vacation or trying new things at a new place and trying new foods and going to museums and walking in a park and I have so many like hobbies that I like to do that I would be happier more to just share my hobbies with people and to inspire other people to do the same thing and just cook and just do all the other shit I like doing than for me to sit here and like stress out about like having a nine to five. Like, yes, I need to pay my bills. So I'm going to still be working, doing something financially. Um, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, I quit and have no money to pay my bills. I'm still going to pay my bills. It's just, I would, I, I'm very much now like passion over nine to five like emotionally i was trying to force it i was trying to make it seem like i was just going to continue to do hygiene even though i didn't like it 
Um, I've been feeling like this for a long time, but I wasn't telling you guys that because I felt bad. I didn't want to discourage anyone from being a hygienist. This is just my personal opinion. This is how it's going for me. So that's 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 where I'm at with it. So this conversation is gonna keep happening. Um because this is just part of my life right now. So I'm sorry that the vlogs aren't as entertaining and fun and exciting and it's kind of like a bittersweet sad but unfortunate emotional space we're in with these vlogs but i feel like some of you can understand and you know don't be sad for me i'm gonna be fine and that's just really it um i don't care it's gonna be all right <laughs> period so yeah um i think i'm gonna go to foxtail coffee after this to get a matcha because i looked in the cabinet i don't think we have matcha at home um and um, i'm just gonna go somewhere to get outside for a second i can make my own tea my own whatever at home but in this situation i'm gonna spend three dollars on a coffee or a drink because i need to get out the house um and maybe i'll get in the pool later today or tomorrow um I do want to go to the beach one of these days. So that's on the agenda. Um, I do want to go to the beach one of these days. So that's on the agenda. And yeah, I'm just, just keeping it cute. Next week, I think I have like four days of work, three days of work. We have a, we have a follow-up appointment for these damn Invisalign trays. Hopefully this is my last set of trays. I know I say that every time. But like seriously, I hope this is like my last set of trays. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else that I need to say. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get off of here and I'll show you guys when I get to Foxtail Coffee and get me a muffin or something. Um, and uh, yeah. I think I need to